Governor John Bell Edwards just met with the director of the Office of Juvenile Justice and lawmakers in Baton Rouge regarding the juvenile jail in Bridge City. WDSU's Eli Brand is live outside the facility. Eli, so what is the plan here? Well, Travers Sola, action will be taken tonight, according to the governor, and I can actually show you that action in process right now. I'm going to step out. We're here right in front of Bridge City. You see just across the way, that is a Louisiana State Police patrol car. That is part of the short-term plan moving forward. The governor says he is adding Department of Correction staff inside the facility and will have Louisiana State Police cars like that patrolling outside. Like I said, that will be starting tonight. There is also a possibility long term, we're told by a local representative that some of these inmates in here could be moved to a facility in a different part of the state. It's not designed to hold violent felons. There were murderers, armed robbers, rapists all in there. Multiple lawmakers still calling for the facility to be closed before it's too late. It's very, very concerning to know that, you know, the state of Louisiana has custody of these uh, kids and, and uh, who are we, you know, how, how are any of them safe uh, in this environment? You know, an anyone in that facility. Marino took part in the meeting Friday with Governor Edwards and the chief of OJJ. He says he has been in the facility and never believed it would work. It just has never to me looked like a secure location to be housing, um, you know, uh, juveniles. It, it, there was just nothing about it. It was too spread out. It was too open. It was uh, things were too far away from each other. Jefferson Parish Councilman Dino Bonanno says he went into the facility Thursday night with the SWAT team and even witnessed a nurse having to barricade herself in a room for safety. He is introducing a resolution to the parish council calling on them to ask the governor to close the facility. This is out of control. This cannot happen. One of my citizens is going to get hurt or killed. When you got a murderer walking through your neighborhood pulling on doors, that's a problem. Marino agrees if nothing changes long term, the doors need to be shut. Do you think it should be closed and the inmates moved to a better facility? I, I, I definitely think it should be closed. And on the incident last night, the Office of Juvenile Justice tells, tells us one inmate was injured and one employee was injured. They were treated for minor injuries. For now, reporting live outside of the Bridge City facility, Eli Brand, WDSU News. All right, Eli, thank you so much for that live report. And the state has other juvenile facilities for those convicted of violent and serious juvenile crime. But many of those are at max capacity and can't house any more inmates. Those facilities are in Monroe and Columbia, both of those cities in North Louisiana. One is in Bunky in central Louisiana, and another is in St. Martinville near Lafayette.